Hey everybody! In today's video, we're gonna learn all about the Hoover Dam, which is actually the... Actually, you know what? We'll talk about it in the video. But before we do, make sure you like and subscribe for more videos just like this. Ready to learn all about the Hoover Dam? Well, let's go! The Hoover Dam is the largest dam in the United States. Standing at 726 feet high, and 1,244 feet in length. The Hoover Dam weighs over 6 million tons. That's over 12 billion pounds. Billion? Yeah. Billion. Billion. The Hoover Dam is located on the Colorado River in the borders of Arizona and Nevada. The Hoover Dam has three purposes. The first is to produce hydroelectric power as well as to prevent flooding of the Colorado River. And last is to provide irrigation and drinking water to the states of Arizona, Nevada, and California. The Hoover Dam was built between the years of 1931 through 1936, and the total cost for the dam was $49 million in 1931 which equates to over $845 million in the year 2022. Hey, guess what? Did you know that the Hoover Dam was the largest dam in the world at the time of its completion? The Hoover Dam is a major tourist attraction, bringing in around 7 million visitors every single year. Over 20,000 cars drive over the dam from Nevada to Arizona in each direction each day. So why was the Hoover Dam built? In the late 1890s, people tried to redirect the water of the Colorado River to irrigate the Imperial Valley. And to do this, they created the Alamo Canal, which is also known as the Imperial Canal. But years later, in 1905, the Colorado River busted through the canals and caused a flood that created the Salton Sink. So to fix this issue, they decided that creating a dam would control flooding, provide irrigation, and generate hydroelectric power. These things could then be sold to recover the cost of the dam's construction. Then, on July 3rd in 1930, President Herbert Hoover signed the first budget bill for the Hoover Dam project. Construction of the Hoover Dam began during the Great Depression, just one year after the stock market crash. And because it was the Great Depression, many people were not working, so a lot of workers came looking for jobs to build the dam, but only around 5,000 were hired. Excavation began for the dam, and the men worked 24-hour shifts each day to reach solid bedrock. These workers operated in 140 degree temperatures in the tunnels, which was extremely dangerous. Hey, guess what? Did you know that the Hoover Dam required 5 million barrels of cement, 45 million pounds of reinforcement steel, and concrete weighing over, remember this one, Quinn? Wherever she is, 12 billion pounds. A total of 8.5 million pounds of dynamite had to be used for blasting the foundation of the dam. It was so dangerous that during the Hoover Dam's construction, 112 people died. Construction for the Hoover Dam was completed on March 1st in 1936, and this was actually two years ahead of schedule and also under budget. Fortunately, their idea was correct and the Hoover Dam eliminated natural flooding. But the dam did have negative effects on many different animals and plants that had adapted to the flooding over the years. For example, fish populations downstream were devastated by the dam. So what else is the Hoover Dam known for? The Hoover Dam blocked the Colorado River and the Mojave Desert was flooded, which created Lake Mead. Lake Mead is over 500 feet deep at its steepest point. Ever hear of a place called Las Vegas? Well, 
Las Vegas now gets almost all of its entire water supply from Lake Mead. The dam also has something called the Hoover Power Plant. This power plant has 17 generators. That sounds like a powerful plant. Uh-huh. Hey, I don't know. 17 generators may not sound like a lot, but more than 20 million households from Nevada, Arizona, and California rely on those 17 generators' power. Hey, guess what? Did you know that the Hoover Dam was once known as the Boulder Dam? Oh, Boulder Dash! It wasn't known as the Boulder Dam, was it? Yeah, yeah, it is. And now it's called what? The Boulder Dam. I mean, the Hoover Dam. Oh, you confused them! It's the Hoover Dam! Hi, hi, hi. The dam's name had a lot of controversies. You see, nobody wanted to name the dam after President Herbert Hoover. In fact, he wasn't even invited to the dam's dedication. And last but not least, the Hoover Dam was selected as one of the seven wonders of the industrial world by Deborah Cadbury in the year 2003. Well, hey, guess what? Now we all know a little bit more about the Hoover Dam. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. It really helps out our channel. It sure does. Make sure to subscribe. Bye. Bye.